Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Aya Azmi from Promic Group Marketing Team. We hope your week is going as planned. Uh, today, the SO Systems and Promic Group hope to leave you with a rich meal of information about how to level up the learning process in the academic sector in the Middle East. Let me first give you a hint about Promic and what we do in the field. We've been making difference along 20 years in collaboration with the with the SO systems to help us digitalize the industrial engineering field in the Middle East, where we are based. We're based in more than one country, including Saudi Arabia, UAE, and Egypt. And our main goal is to flourish the industrial field in the, uh, in the area. But how can we do that? We actually do that by providing, we actually do that by providing uh, a comprehensive engineering solutions covering the PLM cycle completely from concept design simulation to the last stage of manufacturing. And that's by using mainly the SO system solutions, including Katia, Dalmia, Simulia, and Inuvia. And to complement the whole process, we provide you with CNC and sheet metal machinery solutions. And by that, we cover the full cycle. That was a very quick brief about uh, Promic Group. And now back to our today's webinar. I would like to give a warm welcome to our outstanding speaker, Alan Marion from the SO Systems, who is in charge of commercial relations with academic and research institutions in Western Europe, Africa, and in the Middle East. And by the end of the webinar, you're gonna meet the outstanding engineer, Mahmoud Arafa with a quick demo on the uh, 3D experience platform to apply what you heard. So feel free to drop your questions in the chat box, whether in English or Arabic, feel free to ask whatever language you'd like to ask in, and, we'll, and we will answer them uh, at the end uh, uh, of the webinar in uh, the Q&A section either way. So now I'll leave the floor to Alan. Thank you and good luck to you, Alan. Thank you, Aya, thank you very much. Thank you, Promek, for organizing this webinar. Hello to you all. Thank you for attending this webinar. We're all uh, very pleased to welcome you on this journey throughout the 3D experience for education. So a quick presentation, we are Deso System, a software editor of uh, industry known apps like Katia, Similia, and now the 3D experience. Uh, we are a purpose-driven company uh, that think of progress and innovation uh, for the industry, but also for the world of research and uh, education. We are a worldwide company with people sharing the same values and same passion for innovation. Dassault System has the largest PLM and 3D experience market share with more than 270 customers around the globe. And uh, we are collaborating with clients who are leaders uh, in their own industry. So our belief translates into a company purpose, which is that Dassault System provides 3D experience universes to imagine sustainable innovations capable of harmonizing product nature and life. So harmonizing product, nature and life is how we define sustainable uh, innovation. So we are committed to using virtual worlds that we call 3D experience universes to help better understand and simulate how products, nature and life can interact in harmony. Uh, we have a profound belief that the virtual world extends and improves the, um, the real world. So quick uh, history on Dasso system. So the first stage was 3D design in 1991, and it was marked by the launch of Katia to create and engineer parts and assemblies in 3D. And then the second stage was the 3D digital uh, mock-up. So 3D pieces came together to simulate the complete engineering context of a virtual model, replacing the physical mock-up. Uh, then came the 3D uh, PLM, so product lifecycle management to represent uh, time, um, then the fourth stage is 3D experience, so it was to represent perception and emotion. Uh, today, we know that value um, relies on the usage rather than in the product itself, so that's what we call the experience economy, and we help our customers um, create delightful experiences for their consumers. And in the near future, we will enter the fifth stage that you can see in the bottom right, uh, and the, this fifth stage will be uh, uh, the journey of moving from the repre representation of things of, of life. So just imagine being able to model, test, and cure a human body as well as we do with a plane or a car. So that's what we call the virtual twin experience of humans. So in order to do that, we created the 3D experience platform that you can see on the left. 
and uh, it is powered by 13 brands according to what they stand for. So the you know, social and collaborative apps, 3D modeling apps, simulation apps, or information intelligent apps. And these, this is a wide range of brands, so 13 brands help us serve 11 different industries to address uh, specific challenges in, this, in these different industries. So how many <clears throat> of you in the audience have heard of um, Dasso System Solutions, whether it is Katia, Simula, 3D Experience? Have you ever heard of Dasso System Solutions before? Please answer um, uh, th this poll by clicking yes or no, and we'll see how many people know who we are. We'll just leave like maybe a few seconds in order to let you vote. Right, so 58% and 42%, so, okay, close to half-half. So it's good, it means that uh, we still have to, a lot um, to, to talk about and that's the system we still have to, 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 to we have still have a lot to talk about. So um, here is a list of our major clients. So a lot of companies know us, a lot of big companies know us. So this shows that there are some, you know, big companies like Boeing, Dassault Aviation, Airbus, but uh, just note that um, there are also some smaller companies and startups that also use our solutions. And um, this wide range of companies that use our solutions just show how, many, how much engineers um, in the world of industry use our solutions and how much future engineers need to be trained uh, on our uh, solutions. This is our presence in, uh, in the Middle East. So also a wide range of... Uh, big companies in a wide range of different industries. So um, not only the three experience uh, platform help industrial companies produce in a more sustainable way, but the platform also enables students to learn in an active environment where we intend to anticipate the jobs of tomorrow. So Dassault Systems uh, participates actively in national and international think tanks in order to captivate what are going to be the key skills um, of tomorrow. So we identified different technical fields that will nourish the industries of tomorrow, like smart cities or uh, renewable uh, energies. So that's a system, thanks to the 3D Experience platform, is game-changing in, th in three sectors. So the first one you can see on the left is manufacturing industries. So we are able today to create numerical twins of cars in order, for example, to simulate a car crash. So the virtual uh, result of this uh, crash will help uh, car uh, industry, a car manufacturer, to take a decision in terms of security features uh, for the car. Then the second one that you can see um, on the top right is life science. So here we replicated a human heart. The, the heart surgeon will be able to practice in virtual reality a complicated surgery so that he's perfectly trained for entering the real, the real world and perform uh, the surgery with success in the real world. And uh, finally, on the bottom right corner, you can see numerical twin of an entire city. In this case, it is uh, Singapore. So this numerical twin enables decision maker to test different scenarios in order to take the best decisions uh, for um, citizens. Um, however, we're not only present in the industrial world, we also provide our tools for education and the 3D Experience platform is a unique tool to link what is done in the industry and replicate the use cases in the world uh, of education. So in this webinar, we will focus on Dassault Systems education audience, but more specifically on what we call the academics part. So you can, of course, visit our website, edu.3ds.com, where you can find more information on our offers around education and how we accompany academic um, institutions. So uh, today, our footprint in education, we are present in 50,000 institutions all around the globe, and we help 6.5 million students per year to train themselves for the world of tomorrow. So we are really, really proud uh, to collaborate with uh, valuable uh, academic ecosystem on, uh, on our learning content and best practices uh, regarding our solutions. So we communicate a lot with some major uh, academic institutions in the world. And here is our ecosystem uh, in the region. So you can see that numerous universities use our solutions and many, um, some, some of them have chosen to, to, to go with the 3D experience 
Second, Paul, how many of you in the audience have heard about the 3D experience platform before? So if you say before, please do answer yes or no by clicking. I'll leave a few seconds. All right, so now we have a majority of no and a minority of yes. So this is good. This it means that this webinar is very, very useful and that the presentation of the 3D experience platform will be useful. So what is the role of this platform, the 3D experience platform in an academic context? So the role is to create a numerical environment that will ensure academic continuity and imports industrial methods in, an, uh, in a teaching context. So the sharing of the knowledge and know-how is amplified thanks to a platform enriched by various collaborating apps like project management, uh, chat, 3D drive, data management, etc. So what are the advantages of the 3D experience platform for professors? So first, it's a flexible uh, management of student groups in your different classes. So it makes it much more easier to provide access to lots of students at one time, whether it would be through a dashboard, um, 3D swim community, or collab space. Second, interactive technical reviews. So you can share your comments and reviews uh, on of students' projects directly on the platform, and the students can see the feedback through the platform. So it is possible to grade your students' homework from anywhere. Um, fourth, uh, no, third, sorry, class animation. A three dashboard, communities, shared drive. It is easy to ensure a qualitative follow up of the task assigned to the different students. So there's no more lost notifications. Uh, fourth, you can create a constant learning uh, environment where students have access to all the learning materials necessary uh, and where they can collaborate with other students and teachers. So they can also personalize their own space. So there's no more question coming from students saying, where can I find this document? Where can I find that, et cetera, et cetera. It's all in the dashboards, all in the 3D experience platform. The 3D experience platform also gives access to students' personal space anywhere, anytime, with any device, the cloud. So collaboration can be done with smartphones or iPads or simple laptops. And finally, the 3D experience platform is an, in an academic context is an introduction to the execution of industrial programs and the PLM. It's a real first uh, deep dive into project management. So the educational offer of Desert System for 3D experience is divided into three bricks that you can see on the screen. So the first one is the software and apps that students and professors will use for uh, projects uh, or teaching. The second is the rich and diverse learning content available directly through the platform that can support also teachers course. And finally, the offer grants and access to a worldwide community where professors, students and mentors can share experiences and best practices um, on the 3D experience platform. So to support this offer, Dasso System is partnered with uh, various local resellers that can accompany universities and training programs for teachers or admins. So in this case, we are partnered with uh, Promec. So thank you again, uh, Promec, for the organization of this webinar. So let's go through the first brick. So the first approach for the system was to provide to universities specific desktop applications for each use, whether it was for 3D modeling, simulation, or virtual manufacturing. Now, the current approach that we have is to unite all of this in one unique platform, so the 3D experience platform, that will enable pedagogical continuity and digital collaboration. So the 3D experience platform for education was simplified in 13 packs of software in order to facilitate the use and adoption of the platform. And in order to create these 13 packs, we took the best solutions that are available in our industrial portfolio in order to train on the tools that they are going to use when they finish school and enter the world of industry. So we took the best uh, from Katia for product design, best of Similia for realistic simulation, Delmia for virtual manufacturing, Innovia for collaborative innovation, and finally 3D Excite for high precision and interactive immersion. If we go through uh, the second brick, learning content that is offered with the software is very rich 
and offers a progressive e-learning journey directly accessed via the 3D experience platform. So the learning experience open doors that divide themselves in learning path, then learning modules, and then learning objects. It's a perfect tool that students can use to prepare a course or go further in the course, but also it's a perfect tool for teachers that can use this, this content as a support for their classes. So we also provide a wide range of certifications that students and teachers can go through and that are well recognized in the industry. Um, so this is how the EDU space is presented. As you can see, learning experiences can be filtered by domain, so design, simulation, manufacturing, by industry, uh, aero, auto, naval, or by product, Katia, Similia, Delmia. So we invite you to go to edu uh, space dscom in order to see for yourself the variety of the learning content and how rich the learning experiences can be. These learning experiences are subject to certifications, like I said before. There are different levels of certifications, whether they are self-proctored, the associate certification, uh, to make sure that the learning uh, experiences are mastered or professional certifications that are supervised exams which deliver digital badges and that are really well recognized um, in the industry. Now if we go through the last brick in the communities, so the 3D experience platform also gives access to a variety of worldwide communities where students and teachers can share experiences and best practices. So questions on the functionality of the 3D experience um, are welcome on the academics community where our team at DASO is dedicated to answer as soon as possible. It is very, very easy to use and it looks like a bit like a social media feed. So there are some likes, comments and shares. So students are not lost on these uh, communities. And the EDU team at DASO system also provides a wide range of different documents on what we call wikis and they um, are part of these uh, communities. These documents are different best practices on our solutions or some teaching tips. So now I'm going to show you um, a little video to summarize this webinar and DASO Systems um, offer in, for education. So we also have uh, on our website a place where we gather all job offers that refer skills that our solution provides, provide. So for example, you can uh, see industrial process engineer or mechanical designer. Uh, these jobs and these job offer will um, be very likely to use the 3D experience platform or say specifically that knowledge of DASO systems solution is mandatory. So you can see that there are uh, various job offers on this, uh, on this platform. And, the, and this is uh, uh, the slide is a uh, you know some three D experience uh, references so you can see some very very prestigious schools like uh, l'école polytechnique of Paris, uh, the ENSAM Art et Métier. So these are universities that chose to go with the three D experience platform. So thank you very much um, for attending and thanks to Promec again for their support in the preparation of uh, this webinar. This was just an introduction to the 3D Experience Platform for Education. So if you have any questions, please do ask them in the chat. We will answer them. Um, but also, if you wish to have a more detailed um, presentation, you can contact us and we will be pleased to go deeper in the presentation of the 3D Experience uh, for Education. Now I'll leave the, the floor to Mahmoud, who's going to do um, a quick demo on how the 3D Experience works um, and uh, how it is presented. So um, thank you again, and uh, I leave the floor to you, uh, Mahmoud. Thank you, Aya. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, everyone, for joining this webinar. Today, I will talk about the 3D experience. My name is Mahmoud Arafa. I'm an application engineer at Promic. 
I will show you how the 3D experience looks like. Uh, 3D experience is a platform that brings all aspects of product development together. It gives you a catalog of application, allows you to design, simulate, collaborate, and inform. Let's imagine you want to build a hoverboard. There is going to be more than one working on your project. For example, engineer, programmer, marketer, mechanical designer. So we have multiple apps designed to help you collaborate. And all progress is stored on the cloud, which means you can never lose anything and anyone can access the latest version of the project at any, at any time and total security as data is encrypted at all layers and protected from intrusion. And you can share what you want with who you want thanks to project management tools. Each individual can share their agendas and progress. The platform application are divided into four categories, the social and collaborative apps, and information intelligence apps and simulation apps and 3D modeling. When we log in into the platform, we'll find something similar to this one. Here is the search bar. This contains a search engine where I can access all my previous work and all the team members' work. How to access the applications? I can access them from the, the Compass outlet here easily. When I click on the North sector, I will find the social and collaborative app. Its app oriented around project management includes supplier management, require management, data exchange, collaborative design, decision support, issue management, change management. Let's see. When I click here, all the application appears down here. I can scroll up and down to, the, to see all the applications. When I click on the East sector here, I will find the information intelligence app. It contains the app oriented around information sharing, decision making, business intelligence, dashboards, and business analysis. Here is the application related to information intelligence. When I click on the South sector, I'll find the simulation apps related to digital manufacturing simulation and engineering simulation. Here I click here, I find all the applications related to this topic. When I click on the West sector here, I'll find the 3D modeling apps. The 3D modeling apps include bar design, assembly design, surface design, and 2D drawing. All here I can access. The next point I talk about is rules. Rules define the member purpose in the project, also provide access to certain apps to enable them to complete their tasks. How I can access the rules, I can access them here. When I scroll up here, I find all the rules in this platform. These rules can adjust it and control according to business model and management hierarchy. For example, I am a mechanical engineer. I will only take the rules related to my, my job and this rule enable only applications that I can use to do my job. Applications are provided in two sections, the web-based application and native application. The web-based applications such as management tools can be accessed from the web browser. Here is an example. This is a project management tool can be easily accessed from browser without any installation. Here's another example. Here is a project that I can follow any project progress from my browser without easily without any installation. The second section is the native application where I need to install a native app on my PC. Here is an example. This is a 3D modeling. This is a bar design and 3D modeling application where I can do any bar. And I see here down here below all the tools related to bar design. And the tree on the left side contains all the steps I have done to create this bar. And I can easily modify it. For example, if I want to modify the diameter of this hole, I can easily come click here. Make it five millimeter or I can change this fillet, for example. I, I can enjoy this ecosystem even more. If I, I have done the part design, I, I need more tools to, to complete my project. I can easily access them. When I click here on the combat 3D modeling and I want to the generated shape design, for example, I need to create a surface. I'll find all the tools related to the surface design and generative shape design. And if I, I even more can do another thing, I have done my job in the generative shape design. I click here. 
And I, for example, the welding design dot click, I find all the tools related to welding design. And these apps can easily, I can put here or drag and drop them, my favorite apps. If I don't need this in my favorite apps, easily I can drop it away. This is a brief demo of the 3D experience and this ecosystem and this platform. Thanks for watching me and uh, we are ready for your question. Write them down in the chat section or Q&A section. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, Mahmoud, for, for such uh, useful and rich um, information. Uh, and now it's, uh, it's time for the Q&A. We received some uh, questions from you, so we would like to uh, share it. Uh, firstly, we got, we got, firstly, we got, um, is a 3D experience platform has a computation, computational uh, fluid dynamics, CFD? Yes, the answer is yes. In a specific role uh, called simulation engineer, you can have a package with computational fluid dynamics. Uh, next question is the uh, the LMS dashboard system is it available for free or there are certain fees to have access to and use it in the teaching process? Um, so the um, this platform is not uh, for free. However, the entry price for just the LMS dashboard system, so just the collaborating parts, um, for example, for the biggest packs it can be uh, like one euro per student per year so it is really um, uh, these uh, prices are heavily discounted compared to the prices that are done uh, in the industry um, it is a choice that we you know we have done because uh, um, we want to deploy our solution in, in as many uh, academic institutions that we can so um, no it is not free uh, uh, and okay, so the entry price is one euro per student per year, and it can be used in the, used in the teaching process, like I talked about in the um, in the presentation. Uh, the three D experience platform has many many uh, advantages in a in a academic context and in a uh, in a teaching environment. <clears throat> Uh, okay, next question is, uh, is there an electrical engineering uh, department uh, slash section? The um, 3D experience platform can be used also for electrical engineering departments. Um, to be completely honest, uh, it is mostly used in a mechanical or mechanical for mechanical department or civil engineering or, um, you know, simulation engineering and stuff like that, but it can also be used in electrical engineering um, for people that know the solution CST, uh, which is a you know, a magnetic uh, simulator. It can be uh, connected to the 3D experience platform. And there are also some electrical uh, modeling that can be done on the 3D experience platform. Uh, you know, there are two, two packages that I can think of, which is engineering expert and systems engineering. So if you want to have more information and discuss more about it, I can go more in details, but the answer is yes, there is some uh, content that is available for electrical engineering departments. Um, next question is, does it support neutral file import for academic license? I'm not quite sure to understand that question in neutral file import. So I'll try to answer, I'm not sure you know, it's the, it's the right uh, answer, but uh, you can, of course, import uh, many uh, files on the 3D experience platform. We have many connectors, whether they are um, Katia V5 con connectors or Simulia connectors, even SolidWorks. We also accept um, uh, files from the competition. So for example, NX, uh, Revit, Fusion 360, uh, they can also be connected and imported on the 3D experience platform. Uh, okay. Um, um, if if this answers your questions, uh, Mustafa Shazli, uh, please uh, tell us. If not, please elaborate more in um, in in a following question. Uh, we have another question, which is, 
what does it offer for educational purposes? How can 3D designing be implemented in education? Well, 3D design uh, can be implemented in education when, because when you do, um, when you train the students for a practical use, when they are going to enter the, the world of industry, uh, the students and the engineers of tomorrow are going to have to be able to, they need to know how to model a car in 3D, they need to know how to model a plane in 3D, they need to model a bottle, they need to know how to model any object in 3D in order to, to, to you know, to enter the world of, uh, of industry uh, perfectly. So it's important for students to know how to 3D model before entering the world of industry. And but the 3D experience platform offers more than that. It, it helps also uh, students to understand uh, multi-physics simulation. After modeling a piece in 3D, how is it going to react in the world? How is it going to break when it falls? How is it going to penetrate the air? And then they need to understand how they are going to machine it. How are they going to produce it? And how are they going to optimize the production of this piece? So we believe that system that it is really important for the engineers of tomorrow to you know, be trained for when they will enter the world of, um, of industry. I hope that answers your question, Mawa. Um, okay, we have another question, which is, are there solid work tools? Yes, there are. There are also SOLIDWORKS connectors, so it is possible to upload a SOLIDWORKS file on the 3D Experience platform. Okay, um, uh, we have another question. If I want to 3D print a model, is there a feature to control that? Um, I don't have the specific uh, details on um, 3D printing, but I know that it is possible. Uh, I've seen a lot of uh, um, universities and students that uh, 3D modeled a piece through 3D experience, and then they uh, printed it uh, in 3D. So it is possible. I don't have the entire details. I just, uh, I just know it's possible. Uh, okay, next question. Uh, can we use 3D experience platform for uh, simulating expect dynamics analysis? Um, yes, there is a role dedicated to that, which is simulation engineer, where you can do multi-physics um, simulation. Uh, and so there will be some, you know, fluid dynamics uh, analysis, uh, a lot of dynamics analysis, to be honest. Yeah, it's close to. There's a lot of abacus on it. I don't know if you know the the software abacus. Okay. Uh, next question. What about PCB design and systems design? Are them included? PCB design and systems design are them included. Uh, there is some systems uh, design, yes, in in the, one of the role which is called systems engineering with um, uh, optimal behavior with Dimola. Uh, also, it is in, um, it's also compatible with uh, Cameo systems, which is now called Katia Magic. So yes, there is some systems design. I don't know what is PCB design, but systems design, yes. Uh, we have a question here. What is the difference between uh, 3D, um, 3D experience platform and SOLIDWORKS? Um, SOLIDWORKS will only do basic 3D modeling. Uh, whereas 3D experience goes way beyond, way further than that. It does, of course, 3D modeling, but it also enables, like I said, uh, after modeling a piece in 3D, you'll be able to simulate it and then to uh, produce it virtually uh, only on one platform, which is the 3D experience platform. And with that, you will have a collaborating backbone where different students from different classes or um, you know, different students in one project group can interact together and collaborate together on one single platform, on one single project. And also it's easier for a teacher to um, monitor his class and monitor the projects of his students uh, in his class. So 
there's no like comp comparison between SolidWorks and 3D experience because 3D experience goes way beyond just 3D modeling. Uh, okay. Um, um, uh, we have a question. Does this product or 3D experience platform need um, internet connection? Um, uh, yes. Since it is cloud-based, um, it, 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 uh, it is uh, necessary to have um, internet connection, but um, it depends on the type of rules and depends, depends on the, what you do. So cloud does not mean full web. So there are some rules which are full web that only require uh, internet browser, but some applications will have to be uh, downloaded on the computer. Some, some applications are native apps, and so they will need to be downloaded on the computer. And these apps can start with internet connection, but then be um, run offline. So you won't need internet connection. And then once you will have internet connection back, all the data will be submitted back on the cloud and so back on the platform. Uh, okay, next question. What PC specifications are needed to run this product? We have a list of uh, PCs that are um, certified by Dassault Systems, which uh, you know certify that this list specifically of computers work with the 3D Streams platform, but a lot of other computers can run the 3D experience platform with, without any problem. Generally, Macs, uh, uh, the Mac, you know, Apple computers are not the best to run the 3D Streams platform, but we have uh, a link which is called Cloud Eligibility Tool, but this eligibility tool uh, also um, uh, tests and analyzes your hardware, your PC hardware, and uh, tells you if uh, um, your, uh, uh, you know, your PC is, uh, you know, strong enough to run the 3D experience platform. Okay, next question. Does it have access to e-learning tool? Yes, like I, um, like we talked about in the, uh, in the webinar, uh, the e-learning tool is the second brick of the offer. So there's the first brick, which is, you know, the software, the licenses, the access to the software. But with that, we provide uh, hours, days, and weeks of e-learning content. You know, it can be, it, it is really, really rich and diverse. And uh, this e-learning uh, tool is uh, matched with the roles that you took and the ones that you really, really need. So yes, there is some access to e-learning tool. Are there any other questions, Aya? Yeah, there is more. I'm, uh, I'm, just, uh, I'm just trying to get it in order. There, there is a question in the chat box saying, how secure is it? The cloud is totally secured, secured by, by, um, by diverse um, European institutions. Uh, it, it went through um, a lot of uh, tests and requirements. So I can assure you that it is uh, totally secured. It is uh, the, the, the data is stored on our own servers. So it's not some other, you know, uh, um, tier, uh, uh, another you know, company's uh, server. So they are secured, very secured, for sure. A lot of indus industrials use our service today. Okay, another question. Uh, what are the solvers behind simulations? Uh, Abacus, for example. Um, yeah, Abacus, totally. Um, mostly Abacus. Um, what else? I don't have them all in mind right now. But mostly, yeah, mostly Abacus and a bit of uh, Simia.
uh, okay, that's the, the questions we had uh, till now. We can uh, wait like uh, two minutes uh, for, uh, for you. If you have uh, any, any questions, we're here for you. We're going to wait like two or three minutes. Teaching electronics. Oh, I see that there's a lot of people teaching electronics or electronic in the electronic department. So yes, it is a. We could uh, send in details the, the the specific apps and roles that can be used in the electronic department. But uh, the answer is yes, it can be used. Uh, how many users on it until now? Well, oh, um, thousands. Um, well, in, in, in the world, it can be counted in uh, hundreds of... Uh, I'm talking about academic side only, of course. Uh, uh, on, 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 my, on, on my zone, so it means France, uh, Spain, Portugal, all of Africa and the Middle East. There are 30,000 30, people that use the, the, the 3D experience cloud. So now a lot of schools and a lot of students and a lot of teachers are, you know, trusting us on this new teaching method. And, uh, yes. When did this platform started? In education, it was introduced in 2017. Yes, 2017. So thank you everyone for attending today's webinar. And we hope it helps you take your teaching to the next level. Uh, I'd like to mention that this webinar was recorded. Feel free to contact us on info at promic-eg.com if you would like to return back to it. Um, and uh, I hope the rest of your day to be uh, great. Uh, thank you and goodbye. Thank you, thank Aya. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Aya. Bye-bye. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, Mahmoud. Thank you.